to Carrie Pagliano. Welcome to the Velder Beebe Show. How are you? Good. Thanks so much for having me. Well, thank you so much. I'm interested in movement uh, because without movement, you know, life is quite different. So you have the skills to kind of help us. Can we discuss the importance of physical activity that we can in, uh, that we need to remain active? But before we get to that, I need to tell you, uh, Dr. Pagliano, my off, my audience is made of 89.9% baby boomers. So I think this is the perfect intersection between you and my audience. Sounds great. Uh, active, staying active, it's so important for both our physical and mental health. Um, and then also for disease prevention as well. And so our activity might have gone down a little bit the last couple of years with the pandemic. So if you're not sure where to start, especially in the baby boomer era, you want to make sure that you chat with a healthcare provider like a physical therapist to figure out what those movement options might be. And they vary depending on your age, your ability, any you know, injury history, and maybe what your community resources are. But physical therapists were uniquely qualified to help people get and stay moving, and definitely that baby boomer generation. A lot of people were brought into sedentary lifestyles because of the pandemic, and then they began working at home. A lot of my audience was already working at home because we don't, it doesn't seem we have an option to stop working. We just retire from that long-term job. And now we work at home in other jobs. Tell me about movement at home and how to remain active. The the key is planning ahead. And these are conversations I have with my own parents. It's, it's about planning those movement opportunities during the day. And movement and physical activity might be as simple as going out for a walk at lunchtime or taking a break to do laundry and get up off the couch. It's important to figure out where you, it's easy to introduce movement into your day and plan ahead and make sure that it happens. So that's that's one of the recommendations I have. And you can sit down with a physical therapist if you're not sure where to start and figure out where there might be some safe opportunities for you to start to increase your activity in your day. Okay, talking about increasing activity in your day, tell us how to integrate or uh, or inspire people to, you said about walking, but there's a lot more chores that could be done. You can garden, you can clean the kitchen, you can clean your home, you can do a little. You don't have to do a lot, but you're saying you've got to move, correct? Absolutely. Again, it could be as simple as, you know, taking the trash out or going for a walk around the block. Uh, my mom, she, she does line dancing. She does a quilting club. So she has to walk from her house out to the, the lodge where they have the club, just little things like that. Instead of, you know, taking the car and driving, she, I, I encourage her to move as much as possible. She even gets out kayaking. So again, yeah. it's, it's looking <laughs> It's looking at your day, finding where there's options to do that. But the best thing to do is to do it with friends and family. Um, and I've got two small kids myself, so I know my mom wants to keep up with them. So she stays as active as she can. Tell me about living. It, it, we're talking about moving, but what if you have a chronic condition or chronic pain? Do you still have to move? It's really important actually to move when you have chronic pain, especially with low back pain, osteoarthritis, and fibromyalgia. We actually have really great data to say that movement is the first line of treatment for these issues. And historically, you know, we tend to think if something hurts, then something's broken or it, it shouldn't be moving. And actually, there couldn't be further from the truth. It's important to understand that we need to increase our movement to, to reduce some of that pain. And working with a physical therapist, you can express your concerns, figure out where there might be some safe opportunities to start to introduce movement, and then gradually and methodically build that plan back so that you can achieve your goal, whether it's, you know, play with your grandchildren or, you know, go out for uh, dinner with friends and be able to walk there. I'm going to take this question from Instagram. They want to know what would prompt a doctor to, to uh, allow you to go to physical therapy because it has to come from your doctor the way the insurance system is set up. Good question. Sure, it's a great question. So you can actually access a physical therapist 
without a physician referral by law. Insurances have different requirements, but you can choose your physical therapist and if you want a physical therapist that participates with your plan. So if you want to talk with your physician and that a physical therapist can be the perfect understands injury help you create a plan so you can get it. Dr. Pagliano, I want to thank you so very much. You have been very informative. Where can my audience go online for more information? Sure. If you want to learn more about physical therapy or to find a physical therapist in your area, you can go to googlept.com. Thank you so very much, and thank you for sharing your personal and professional opinion. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcasts, and in print publications. I interviewed the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next Beebe Summer Book Giveaway.